My knowledge, the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches, says Proverbs 24 verse 4. Warm greetings to one and all. Education is the most powerful weapon to change the world. Sanchavara, the unique and vibrant visionary, chose the path less travelled. Yes, he decided to eradicate all the social evils by educating the children of all faiths. In 1829, eminent father Chavara, along with his Malpins, founded the CMI, Carmelites of Mary Immaculate Congregation, the first indigenous congregation for men. The CMI congregation now has nearly 500 schools, 50 colleges and an university across the nation. The untouchability he witnessed at the Kalari schools during his childhood urged him to Open a Sanskrit school at Mananam in 1831 and its doors were opened to children of all religion and caste. This challenged the casteism which was rampant at that time. He also introduced the pediatric system and the Uchakani or the midday meals to feed the poor children at school. Father Chavara brought into existence the St. Joseph's Press, the third printing press in Kerala, which was a radical act of promoting evolution of knowledge. From this printing press, many literary works were published, especially the first Malayalam Bible and newspaper Nasrani Deepika. St. Chavara had an epic dream, which was empowerment of women. He strongly believed that education of women was inevitable in reforming the society. He felt the lack of convenience for women was a pathetic situation. In 1866, when he became the Vicar General, he founded the CMC, Congregation of Mother of Carmel, with its first convent, St. Joseph's Convent, at Kunamavu, with Father Leopold Beccaro for women. He also introduced boarding schools for girl children, which was a revolutionary step in the educational upliftment of women. Now, the CMC congregation runs hundreds of educational institutions, which includes 702 institutions across the nation and 50 institutions across the globe. This Pali truly Indian established Palikudams in the convent premises and when he became the Vicar General, he ordered a school for a church. He was a trendsetter in the field of education and took bold initiatives to educate all the children because he thought that those who had no education are intellectually blind. St. Chavara's life is a great inspiration to all of us. So dear all, let us start to eliminate the minds of illiterates around us with our knowledge. Thank you one and all.